I'm John McNamore and welcome to Dad Gum That's Good. Here with a good friend of mine, Lori Kinney, and we're gonna smoke a cheeseburger and pizza fatty. So again, we're here today to smoke a cheeseburger and a pizza fatty. And Lori Kinney has been a longtime friend of mine and a Masturbate employee. Lori, I've smoked a lot of things on the Masturbate Smokers, but I've never combined all these recipes. So you're doing what kind of a fatty? I'm doing a pizza fatty. And I'm gonna do a cheeseburger fatty. So tell me how we get started. Okay, well first we have a pound and a half of ground beef. Okay. We'll take and we'll dump it in a bowl. All right, now you told me <clears throat> the ingredients with the Hamburger meat is 80-20? 80-20. Why is that? Because you want to have enough fat in there that it keeps it moist while okay. it's smoking and it keeps it juicy okay. and it also adds flavor. Okay, so we've got a pound and a half in a bowl. Uh -huh. Now what do we do? At this point in time you can add whatever seasonings you want to your meat to give right. it extra flavor. I like doing pepper, garlic, onion powder, and salt. Of course you want to season to taste, but okay. I do about probably about a teaspoon. And I'm going to add pepper to mine as well. Okay. Being a cheeseburger. Then you got garlic. I like garlic too, so I'm going to add about a teaspoon mm -hmm. to mine. Okay. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing with salt. And then onion powder. Onion powder. Now, if you add onions, do you add onions and onion powder? Or I do. That, you do? I okay. do. You do both? Mm -hmm. I do both because you want to season your meat and you also have the extra flavor of the onions inside as well. All right, so you're adding onions. I'm not adding onions to mine. I'm going to add some A1 steak sauce For to your mine as well. Okay. Right. This is where you get messy, right? Absolutely. This is the fun part. Kids so, really love this. pound and a half of barbecue, 80-20, mm -hmm. with all your favorite seasonings. So we've got all of that mixed in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take and put them in our bag. All right. I'll hold your bag if you'll hold mine. All right. This is yours. Okay. Going in. This was a neat little trick. I like that. So you grab my bag right there. I like this because I wanted to know why are you putting it into a gallon baggie? This is cool. Yes. All right. Now I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Tell me what we're doing with this gallon baggie with the hamburger meat in there. Okay, with well, a gallon baggie, it makes it a whole lot neater. But what okay. you can do is you can take it and you wanna kinda start off with sealing it up a little bit. You don't wanna seal it all the way because you do want some air to come out so you can make it nice and smooth. Okay. You're wanting to push it in there because this makes the perfect base for your fatty. Okay. You wanna kinda make it as even as you can. Mm hmm because you don't want it tearing or ripping while it's cooking. Okay, now that we're done with this, we can set this to the side and then right. we can do our blanket of bacon. All right, so how do we start? Okay, first of all, you're gonna start with laying the bacon out. Okay. You're gonna, we're gonna do a layer across and then we'll right. weave in the rest of it. All right, so we go straight across, mm -hmm. side by side by side. Side by side. You wanna kinda keep it together because you don't want it too far apart because ultimately you do not want any holes in your blanket of bacon. All right, so do you want thin bacon? Uh, you don't want it bacon? too thick because if you get it too thick, it takes a lot longer to cook and it can dry the inside out. Okay. And you also want it to crisp up too. All right. Okay, so okay. we got about seven across. across. Okay. Uh huh. Because you want to make sure that you have it to where it'll go totally and completely around the around finished product. Around the finished product, mm -hmm. okay. So now that we've started that, All you're right. going to take every other one for the first one, fold it up. And you do go ahead and, and lay it over. Yes, sir. Every other one. You don't have to do it too far. Okay. And then next, you're going to take one piece and lay it across. Right. This is where our weaving comes in. And put that back and over. Put it back over. It's like making a pot holder. Okay. All right. So okay. today, today we're making fatties. Mm -hmm. All right. So I take the so, other one. Uh huh. And you're going to do reverse, across. and you're going to come okay. back. Hey, I learned a little secret. Pull that over so it doesn't get on your counter. Look at that. Oh, that works. I was just gonna, a, that works. So where does a fatty come into on your list of favorite foods? Uh, it's probably going to be one of the top ones because you can get everybody involved in it. Great topic of conversation. And so <clears throat> cheeseburger, you think of anything that you want to put in a cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. You can actually put in pickles mm -hmm. if you want to. Mustard ketchup. Jalapenos if you want to. I put chili in them. Put chili in them. Yes, sir. Get yes. a thick chili and All then right. put it in there. So, pound and a half of hamburger meat, one pound of bacon, bacon. 
and all of these spices in our hamburger meat and the toppings that are fixing to go on. Absolutely. Ready? Ready. Wash your hands again. So what's next? Okay, so next we're going to our meat. We're gonna okay. prep the inside of the meat. So open your bag. All right. This is another neat trick I've learned that you get for using these bags for us. You wanna open it up, you wanna cut it so it's easy to get to. Okay, so now we start putting everything inside. Ready? Yep, go okay. for it. All right, so pizza sauce first. Pizza sauce first. All right. This just helps keep it juicy on the inside as well. All right. Okay, then I'm gonna do some mushrooms. Mushrooms. And here again, you can saute them before, or you can add them on like this. Okay, now we're gonna do some onions. Onions. The onions are finely grated. You can chop them however you like. Okay. I personally like them either sauteed or finely chopped. Right. We're gonna do some pepperoni. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little sharp. We got a couple of cheeses here. We're gonna do a little bit of sharp on here. So you just kind of layer everything on top. Mm -hmm. So now yours is ready. Mm -hmm. Mine's ready. I'm gonna Roll. do just a little bit more on top. Okay. I won't do too much because we got a nice layer on the bottom. And you wanna use a thicker pizza sauce. That way it's not too thin and it won't seep through the ground beef as well. Okay, so now I've got mine over here. Mm -hmm. A cheeseburger, mushroom, cheeseburger. So I'm going to put my mushrooms in. And you say again, the secret is not to get too close to the edge. Yes, sir. That way you can kind of mash it together the right. ends to keep it from coming through. Okay. I'm going to add some Velveeta grated Velveeta cheese. Which melts very good. It melts very good. Sharp cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're going to add just a little Cajun seasoning and layer that just like you did yours. Mm -hmm. What's next? Next, we're gonna roll it up together. Okay. And what you're gonna do, this is another trick for the bag, is okay. you're gonna take, you're gonna roll one side over. Okay. And you're gonna kinda make it mesh together. Then you're gonna bring your other, other side. Other. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't get too much you in there. You got so much in mm -hmm. there. It's <laughs> fine, okay, well, let me show you what to do. You just take, another reason for using a pound and a half yeah. of ground beef because you can kind of... Freehand it. Absolutely. Okay, roll that over. Roll that over. And And, and, and whatever it. doesn't stay inside, the bacon will take care of, right? Absolutely. But the secret is to take everything that's inside and weld mm -hmm. the Love hamburger all the way around. Yes, sir, you want right. to seal it up as good as you can get it. Roll that over. Now I'm just wondering how we're going to get that on top of there. Is we're going to take and slide your bacon closer toward you. Okay. And then you're going to take it and like just kind of roll it on your blanket of bacon. So now you're going to take one side of the bacon and fold it over. Take the other side and bring it over. And basically just stretch that bacon over. Because mm -hmm, right. you don't want to see any ground beef. All you want to see is bacon. Okay. Just so you can see, this is the underside. Okay. So if you roll it over, this is what it's going to look like. Like that. We're going to take this outside to the magical smoker. We're going to set it at 225 degrees, and we're going to smoke it, you said, for? Two hours. Two hours. Mm -hmm. Or until all that hamburger gets to 165 mm -hmm. or higher on or the higher. temp, internal Absolutely. temp. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Here's the fun part. So Lori and I have our pizza and our cheeseburger right. patties ready to go into the smoker. That is correct. All right, now we've got the smoker set, again, 225 mm -hmm. degrees, right? Absolutely. And we're going to smoke them for two, two hours. hours. And we're gonna slide these on the bottom. Now, this is always something that we want to point out to everybody is when you are loading your smokers, always put the raw food on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna take yours okay. and put that below anything that you've already got cooking on your smoker. And if you'll notice, we got some ribs, some sausage, corn going on. 
got a fatty that we cooked earlier with fix and take on mm -hmm. and go inside and eat. Absolutely. Some corn on top, the capacity. One thing I like about the 44 inch propane, you've got four to six racks, a couple little crowd. That's what's up, right? Feed everybody. All right, so let's take this fatty off. Take it inside. And eat. And enjoy. So our fatty is done, and what I love about cooking recipes like this is spending time with your family, your friends, mm -hmm. and, and Laura, you and I have been working together now for seven years at Masterville. Yes, sir. And I asked you earlier, besides cooking, <laughs> what do you like about being at Masterville? Well, I love working with the people, mm -hmm. I love working with the accounts, okay. and I love our products, and they're such awesome products. and. It's just easy to cook with them, and it makes everybody's life easier. All right, and today's recipe, mm -hmm. um, we, we read online and out there on social media that a cheeseburger fatty or this pizza fatty, uh, it can be intimidating mm -hmm. when you look at it. Hey, it sounds it's like not. it, but it's really not. It's not. So all of these steps that we've shown everybody is, if you follow those, it's mm -hmm. really easy to do. Mm -hmm. You can get creative. Mm -hmm. So before we cut into this, and again, you can serve this just as a meal by itself, mm -hmm. sort of Absolutely. like barbecue, uh -huh. or you can put it on a hamburger bun and, and serve hamburger. it up with whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So before I do that, I want to thank you for seven wonderful years at Masterville being on our team and for showing me how to do a fatty and look right there and say, let's eat. Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs>